is in her new movie, and tonight we have her husband, Billy Bob Thornton, in a love triangle for his latest film called Waking Up in Reno. Are you happy, dog? Like Bert and Lonnie? Well, not like them, but like Elvis and Priscilla? Charlize Theron and Natasha Richardson play good friends who talk their husbands, Patrick Swayze and Billy Bob, into a cross-country road trip. That's real leather. Well, hell yeah, it's real leather. Dang me. But on the road, Charlize and Patrick have only one thing on their minds. I'm trying to have a baby here. You're going to pull over, baby. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Car's running real good. Right now, it's getting the shocks tested. In the movie, out August 31st, the foursome ends up in Reno, where Billy Bob gambles on a night of passion with Charlize. He loses. We're filthy. I'm not. I'm zestfully clean. <laughs> And when the other two find out, Billy Bob finds himself in the middle of a romantic Russian roulette. I got an idea. Darlene and Roy need to sleep together. It'll make it even. It's like a dealer trade-in. One side note to the production is that producers originally talked with Brad Pitt and his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Aniston, to star in that movie. Coming up in the end. ...have since split up, as have Carson Daly and Tara Reid. Fix for your high-speed DSL connection. With an offer this good, there's nothing to lose. So what are you waiting for? Get on with it. The Verizon Online DSL. Verizon. Romantic comedy called Waking Up in Reno. Here's Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Yeah, great to see you again. It's good to see you. Uh, a while. Did you have a good uh, holiday season? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a it was a family thing, so um, which it was really nice. Good. You still dance with your wife? I know are you, both are you of you were me? dancers years ago. Wait, we got this tiny little bitty house and built this giant dance studio. I have no choice. That's oh, no. terrific. Yeah. <laughs> That's Actually, great. we just finished. Fine, you know. Uh, I think I think the only time ever. Uh, in this world, Lisa and I have ever danced uh, on a talk show, show was uh, if you, when you had your show in L.A., didn't you have a black and white checkerboard floor that we danced on that I almost fell down? You know, we put it out there, I think, for your dance, yeah. <laughs> and you danced with Lisa, and she looked great, and you almost uh, had made a tumble, right? Yeah, almost. <laughs> but um, uh, we just finished a... Uh, uh, our dance movie that we've been trying to get done, you know, we wrote it, wrote it 15 years ago as a play and, and won six Drama Critics Awards for it. So it's in the can. She, she wrote it, directed it, I produced it, and we starred in it. Oh, no That's kidding. Terrific. So you got a lot it's coming out. It's the Mickey out. and Judy show, yeah. Uh, so I've got Waking Up in Reno coming out fe February 15th. Now, you know, we've had Billy crazy. Bob on the show a couple of yeah. times, and he's, he's really so a character. Much fun. He's yeah. crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> I, I thought I was the craziest, sickest, most irreverent human being on this planet. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Billy Bob Thornton is. Right. <laughs> so it's you two guys. Uh, An all star cast. And Natasha Richardson mm -hmm. and Charlie Theron. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it was a great group of people. Wow. And, you know, and, and that could have, you know, this kind of situation could have been an ego fest. Yeah, you know, sure. With that right. many people. But everybody was so focused on not making fun of these characters. And I don't know if any of you guys ever saw a movie in the 60s called Bob Carroll, Ted and Alice, uh, these, where, these two, where these two couples go and kind of uh, uh, trade we don't trade partners, but uh, by the way, what's this nudity thing? I, I felt like I felt wrong coming out here uh, with clothes on. Well, listen, that's Patrick, a big, big trend. don't let us stop you. If you feel the need to take anything off, don't go there, there girl. <laughs> Uh, no, but the, the Waking Up Marina was a lot of fun. I got I got a chance to play a character that I've never played before. Somebody uh, uh, very s sort of slow. It's sort of, sort of like what I used to say about my dog. He's not fat. He's just got a little head. <laughs> <laughs> well, my my character Roy is uh, he he he's not slow. Does not mean stupid. It just, it just means it takes him about a week and a half to get the joke. <laughs> So these uh, people are on the open road heading to Reno? Uh, the, yeah, the biggest little city in the world. Yeah. And, and they consider this is the epitome of their lives, and, uh, and they're going to the monster truck show. And the, and the funny thing is, is, is I'm a southerner, and Billy Bob's is a southerner, but, it, but it's, not a pretty, it's not a pretty thing to watch a southerner imitate a southerner. <laughs> right. Because yeah, they're already talking like this, and then when they imitate a southerner, they're all talking like this, and it's just a serious caricature, you know? Right. And that was the hardest thing, about I think, about this movie, for, or this character for myself, is, is to not comment on him, because I think we would have kind of PO'd most of the country if uh, if we'd made fun of these people. And Absolutely. So what we tried to do is breathe, uh, breathe as much life into them, and because and, you know, the best comedy is uh, always born out sure, of Sure, absolutely. Well, you've been on that open road yourself uh, a few times, huh? Yeah. 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 Been a few 
cross-country motorcycle trips. Why, sure, trips yeah, and, absolutely. Matter of fact, uh, when I was going to uh, Alabama and almost wrecked my motorcycle. Because right. um, I, I, along the side of the road, I, I literally saw this sign that said, Mary Lou's School of Toe Tap and Fire Baton. <laughs> And the funny thing was, you know, I thought I'd made it up all these years because uh, right. this was back when Lisa and I were dancing with some ballet companies here in New York, and uh, and uh, when I used that line in our dance movie without a word. Right. And uh, I, uh, they wound up making me change it in uh, on the looping stage, you know, and I had to change the line from Mary Lou's School of Toe to Mary Jane's because it really does exist. Oh wow! If I'd been in a car, I would have stolen that sign. Yeah. It would be on my wall today. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. Maybe you should, like, call the city that, that has the sign. Maybe they, they'll sell it to you. I bet they would. Yeah. I just want to go back and learn. What is... Toe-tapping fire baton. Uh, with a little cheerleader skirt and everything. It works for me, you know? I wonder. <laughs> Did you take your toe-tapping lessons, too, when you were a little boy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom's got pictures. You know, my mother's a choreographer, so I was dancing in the womb. So she oh, says, yeah. She, wow. Yeah, I kicked, and she went, Oh, my God, he did a grand bop my. He's going to be a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> So you like this character you, you portray? I do, actually. I've, I've he's a little slow, but I mean, he's trying, right? He's a good guy. Yeah, he's, you know, it's a wonderful challenge, and all, all his entire life is just about trying to get his wife pregnant, and he's not doing a good job of it. So everybody well, else tries to. He's a little get... slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing for a man, actually. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip. In this particular clip, uh, Patrick, who plays Roy is confronted by his father-in-law at work about a mistake you made at the plant. Yeah, because yeah. I'm trying to cover for somebody, and, yeah. All and right. I don't do a good job of it. Take a look. Good to see you, sweetie pie. You're looking beautiful, as always. Great. Roy, do you even have any inkling why you're here? I have got 200 cases of Ocean Delight that are labeled beef and cheese nibbies. Now, you tell me how the hell something like that happens. It is my fault. I, I, I got the cans mixed up. And just where in the hell were you yesterday afternoon when all this was happening? Oh, he was at the house. I needed him for something. Why? Well, wasn't nothing wrong, was it? No, sir. See, uh, she's just checking for when she's ovulating because we know how much you want that grandbaby. So uh, when she pays it, I go, well, well, you know what I mean. All right, Roy, his heart's in the right place. You're a good guy, Roy. It, it, it was really a lot of fun. You know, he's he's kind of one of those guys that if anything bad uh, is ever going to happen in life, it's going to happen, it's going to happen to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but somehow he's just good. He's, he's really got... He, for me, he was kind of like the heart of the movie. You know, he's, he's, mm -hmm. he's that kind of guy that that is just could never hurt a fly and, 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 and is sweet to a fault and, and can't help himself uh, uh, but forgive anything. And Sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, it does, just like you. It does. Yeah. It does. You know what? You really are that way. You're, you're kind of like a seriously uh, uh, masculinely uh, confused, I think. Sort of like my, <laughs> most men today. I mean, we're, I mean, our job is to get in touch with our feminine side, you know, and, and, and then the mm. women want the Marlboro man, so I don't, I don't know who I'm supposed to be. That's right. That's exactly right. We're, we're because of you, we're confused. Sorry. Anyway, Waking Up in Reno <laughs> opens February 15th. It's good to see you again, Patrick. Thanks very much, buddy. Josh Hartnett, coming up next. Tomorrow on Live, Tom Cruise.